Hi everybody, Brian Strausser, Principal and Chief Executive here at BrightPath. And I wanna talk about what the new SEC reporting regulations for cybersecurity incidents and cybersecurity governance mean for publicly traded companies in the United States. And to some extent, these probably represent best practices that even privately held companies should consider following. This year throughout 2023, the Securities and Exchange Commission, or SEC, has been developing and has now put into place new cyber incident reporting regulations. These are significant for corporate leaders, especially given the increasing importance of cybersecurity in the business world. Here's a brief six-point summary as to what these regulations mean. First, there are new enhanced disclosure requirements. These are regulations that mandate enhanced disclosure for publicly traded companies regarding their cybersecurity practices and incidents, meaning that it won't just be about disclosing incidents, but you'll also have to disclose your cybersecurity practices. This includes more detailed reporting about your risk management and governance measures related to cybersecurity. Number two, you will have to now promptly report material incidents. Companies are required to promptly report material cybersecurity incidents as defined in the regulations. This is a pretty significant change because it shifts from a more relaxed approach to a very strict requirement that wasn't there before. The strict requirement is about timely disclosure and it will help investors make informed decisions, or at least that's the rationale. Number three, there are now periodic reporting obligations. Alongside immediate incident reporting, there are now obligations for periodic reporting to provide updates on previously reported cybersecurity incidents and to disclose your policies on identifying and managing cybersecurity risk. Number four, board expertise and oversight. And this is a big one. We've talked about this before on our podcast. The regulations emphasize the role of the board of directors in overseeing cybersecurity risks, including a requirement to disclose the cybersecurity expertise of board members. If you're a publicly traded company and you do not have a board member that has cybersecurity expertise, I would recommend that you look at recruiting one to your board in the coming year. You will need to report on this and demonstrate it to the public and to the investment community in your SEC filings. Number five, these regulations have an impact on crisis communications and crisis management. And I think this has been um, hasn't gotten as much attention as it should. But these regulations are going to have a direct impact on how companies manage and communicate about cybersecurity incidents requiring a more proactive and transparent approach than what you may have had before. And last but not least, number six, there are a number of compliance and legal considerations. Corporate leaders must ensure that your companies are in compliance with these regulations to avoid legal and reputational risks. This might include revamping your current cybersecurity practices and incident response plans. For companies that are publicly traded, these regulations underscore the importance of robust cybersecurity measures, transparent reporting, and informed board oversight and expertise. We believe it's crucial to integrate these requirements into your crisis management and crisis communication strategies in order to navigate this new regulatory landscape. If we can help you in any way understand these regulations or navigate this landscape, give us a call here at BrightPath. That's it for this edition of our weekly insights video. We'll be back next week with another new episode. Be well. Thanks for watching our video. To learn more about how to manage uncertainty and disruption in your organization, be sure to like, follow, and subscribe to our video channel. And here are a few more videos that we've selected that will help you learn more about business continuity, crisis management, and crisis communications.